What's up guys, it's your boy All Seeing Irish Visuals back with another video. As usual, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upcoming video that I have on this channel. Now, let's get into today's video. Last Monday, Black Magic has released their 7.3 update for all their Black Magic Pocket Cinema accounts. The 4K, the 6K, the 6K Pro. I still own the second gen uh, 4K camera. It's still been doing me good. I didn't really feel like they need to upgrade to uh, the 6K or the 6K Pro. Um, new features on this one, it has the Gen 5 color signs that you can find on their uh, Mini Ursa uh, 12K uh, cinema camera that released last year. Um, that you get a histogram, um, the autofocus on it is a little bit faster, but I really don't too much use it. Um, all around the update was good, but there was one particular thing that, you know, it was really getting on people's nerves with the update. And if you're a Bill Trox speed booster user, as I am, you notice that you lost control of your hours. And I really noticed that immediately once I started messing with the functions of the camera, um, and that was kind of a downer for me. I was going to go ahead and drop it back, back down to the 7.2 uh, update that, that came out for a new one. Um, and I know I was going to lose the Gen 5 color signs and all that, but you know, if I can't use my high resolution, then what's the use to even have an update? But Bill Trotz actually put out an update palette, I say a week later. I want to say uh, it's a temporary update for any Viltrox users, uh, Speedboost users. I put the link uh, down in the description. Um, it basically go ahead and fixes the uh, the issue that we were having not having average control. Now they did say this was a temporary fix, and they will be continuing to work it, work on it to you know work any kinks out that might be in the one they just released, but. I've been messing with it so far. I'm gonna run some more tests today and I'm gonna do a follow-up video. But you know, so far, uh so good. Um it's crazy because before this video, I was actually recording um a video before the update came out saying how I wouldn't it wouldn't make sense for me to shoot uh upgrade to the 6K or the 6K Pro. Now if you ever haven't been hearing issues with the 6K Pro. The blue screen of death, um, as they call it, has been going on with the camera with the articulating screen and everything, which users of the Black Magic Pocket Cinema cameras have been asking for um, over the years. Uh, they thought they were going to release it with the regular 6K, but they just made the EF mount version, and you couldn't shoot uh, in RAW uh, in 4K. Or was it raw or was it it was some other feature you couldn't shoot in 4k on a regular 6k but with a new update it fixed everything all across the board so now i'm really never upgrading to another black magic pocket cinema camera i i want to get the 12k ursa i should have got it when i had the money i still might get it um somewhere down the line uh, but we'll just wait and see but like I say, so far so good with the update. I have full control of my hour once again. I still have that extra soft of light, which I love with this speed booster versus, you know, the using the 6K, the 6K Pro, this native EF mount that this lens max is at F4, is the lowest you can get. But with my Viltrox speed booster, I get an extra shot of light and I get 2.8 because I bought the lens. I really bought it for photography because I was going to get back and really doing like photo photography. Me and my roommate, we have a photo studio actually in our apartment. So I was going to just use it for that. But um, now I get the extra shot with this lens. I'm pretty much going to be using this lens uh, for video. Um, Let's see. Let's see what else we're Oh, stop, stop. Wow, I can cut that. Hmm. 
only issue I really ever had with this camera, I was on the shoot one time and I was using the V mount batteries uh, for this because I had a bunch of them I had already ordered when I purchased my red camera last year. And I see it was an option I could use for this. So when it got um, the the uh, the uh, the V mount adapter plug uh, for this, and it was working good so far, so good. But when I was on the shoot, the cord actually burnt out on me, and it was a crazy situation where that I I really couldn't use no V mount batteries at all. Like I had no type of female backup system to even use the battery. So luckily I did get enough out of the shoot with the uh that Canon type battery that these come with, which they are trash by the way. I'm glad they did update the battery um in you know the future uh, cameras that came over but it was it was hell so I, I did get enough footage for that and I ended up having to shoot a couple of cut scenes with uh, my friend's A7R2 uh, at the time. So uh, everything worked out with that, but that was my only um, real bright about the camera uh, at the time and it works good. I like, especially like now with the new update, I really don't see the purpose of me just going to upgrade to another uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. I mean, they still tell to a couple of other companies still make the articulating uh, screen kits for this, uh, for these cameras. And the crazy thing about it, they will not void your warranty uh, at all, as far as I know. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. I've been seeing people talk about it, say it hasn't void your warranty, but I, I really haven't heard anybody like that speak on that just yet. But um that's all the video for today uh if you did like this video thumbs up if you didn't like it thumbs down make sure you like comment and subscribe i will be putting up uh the link to the black magic 7.3 update and the build truck speed booster update for the ef m2 adapters so once again i'm all seeing our visuals and i will see you guys in the next video